What is going on y'all? Today we are going to install the Starfield Upscaler on PC, which replaces FSR2 with DLSS or XESS. Quick notes, this works on RTX cards only and DLSS3 is not supported. You will have to use DLSS2. Let's jump right into it. You will need minimum three files to install this mod. Links for those files can be found in the description below. Now, I will be going with the Starfield Upscaler standalone version. The reshade version was not working for me for some reason and my game would constantly crash. The standalone version is definitely more stable. Let's download the main file which you're going to extract to the Starfield root folder. Now I am using Game Pass, but I place all of my games in my Steam folder. On Steam, you will extract to this location your main drive, Steam library, Steam apps, Common, and Starfield. On Game Pass, you will need to go down one more level to the content folder. Head over to the next link to get the DLSS plugin. You can also get the XESS if you want to. I didn't want to, so I just went for the DLSS. Now, since this mod only works on DLSS 2, I downloaded the latest update on that version, which was 2.5.1. Finally, head over to the third link and download the PDPerf plugin. Go ahead, extract the contents of the main file to your Steam or Game Pass root folder. and then extract the DLSS and a PDPerf plugin. You should have a mods folder in your Starfield root folder and inside an upscaler base plugin folder. Here you want to transfer the DLSS, the XESS if you did download it, and also the PDPerf plugin to the upscaler plugin folder which should be in your mods folder. Once you have done all the steps, go ahead and start the game. Inside the game, hit settings, then display and under upscaling, you want to toggle the FSR setting on. From here, hit end on your keyboard, which opens the upscaler menu, and you can now select DLSS or XESS in Starfield. Finally, to delete the mod, what I'm going to do is create a new folder here, and we're going to drag that main mod file into this folder and we will extract all the contents here. Basically everything that's in this zip folder, which is the mods and this DXGI DLL, you want to delete from your root folder, which will effectively delete the mod. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's tutorial. Look out for more mod tutorials in Starfield and other games. Subscribe if you're new and I will catch y'all in the next one.